Sometimes the best thing on the tape is the very last thing on it. And this one comes from February 4th, 1989, on PM Magazine's weekend repackaging called PM Weekend, hosted by Michael Stanley. And this is about a glass harp reunion show down at the Akron Civic Theater that happened in December of 88. Significantly, Michael Stanley Band uh, had Danny Pecchio from Glass Harp within the, their ranks, so there's a lot of connection there. I was lucky enough to see a Glass Harp reunion show for the Thank Hank benefit at the Agora about 15 years after this. So this is one of Cleveland's, uh, or Northeast Ohio, let's be more accurate, it's more, more seminal bands. They came out of JB's in Kent. All the bands I ever worked with played there too. So check this out. Glass Harp on PM Magazine, February 4th, 1989. Just about every day, somebody comes up to me and asks me if the Michael Stanley Band is ever going to get back together. Well, it'll probably happen at some time, but we've only been apart for a couple years. The legendary Ohio band, the Glass Harp, was apart for 16 years. That is, until a few short months ago. They got back together for one very magic night. Here's what happened. in Long Island, so we drove eight hours. It should have been nine hours, but we got a ticket. She never mentioned a thing about a real appearance in the plane dealer. And you know we even had a better second night when we gathered at the Civic Theater. One name that you haven't seen up on a marquee in quite a long time is this one, Glass Harp. Glass Harp was a popular band from Youngstown that played together from 1968 to 1972. And after not having played together in over 16 years, they recently reunited for a concert at the Akron Civic Theater. It was like the old days, it really was, and it was just a good feeling between everyone. It's all, ha it's all happened new these 16 years, you know, the evolution that everybody's gone through in the audience. You know, we didn't know that anybody was going to hold on to this for 16 years even. I mean, you always think, well, that'd be nice, and you hear from your friends, and people say, oh, wish that glass harp was together again, and I remember, can you see me, and all this. So 16 years goes by, and it's still happening. <laughs> It was really controlled panic. We had only two days of rehearsal, probably about five hours. Phil said a prayer, and we went on stage, and um, it, it was kind of like letting yourself go to whatever's going to happen that night. You know, you, you, no one got nervous or excited or uh, upset or anything. In 1968, Bill Kagey recruited friends Daniel Pecchio and John Safera to form Glass Harp. The Glass Harp started as a name about 1968, October of 68. And then, of course, Dan joined, like you said, in 69, um, around the middle of the summer. And then that's when we began to perform on a weekly basis at, in Kent at JB's. The next four years were spent opening for bands like Traffic, Yes, and The Kinks, and even achieving every musician's dream playing Carnegie Hall. By 1972, they had released three LPs. Glass Harp had become more than just a local bar band. Mountains above the clouds don't leave us in despair. Despite their success, in 1972, the band decided new roads had to be traveled. 
Bill Kagey was gaining a national reputation as one of rock's greatest guitarists. Yet having become a Christian, he felt the need to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ through music in his bold yet humble manner. It's for good times' sake, and it's for the Lord. And, uh, hey, what can we say? We love life, huh? I think music has a powerful way of getting to the heart and softening the heart, making the heart receptive, receptive to the love of God. And if that happens, I'm happy. If it makes them jubilant and joyful, and if it makes them have hope, mm -hmm. that's that's what we've all been happy about in our music. Oh, yes, you don't need to be alone anymore. I remember when I first met Phil, I was like about 14 years old. It was two years before we started Glass Harp. Phil was recording and multi-tracking at home and, you know, writing songs. And I was just totally amazed. The first person I ever met at that age that was that good. And he was al already showing his guitar technique and he was a natural. And I used to sit in the corner and he'd be dubbing his tracks and I was happy to sit there and listen until he'd say, hey, John, you want to do the rhythm guitar track on this song? And I'd light up, oh yeah, you know, show me my chords. and. That's how I learned how to play guitar. Phil was a big influence. While Phil Kagey is working on his post-glass harp career, we can still see Daniel Pecchio and John Safera playing locally with the hot Cleveland band, The Motion. have this energy and this creative spark in The Motion. It really reminds me of the glass harp, and there is a, a give and take also in The Motion, like there was in the glass harp, where each of the member has the position that they filled. Can we look forward to any future glass harp concerts? I don't think we're like really hungry, but it's like take it as it comes. And if there's really something worthwhile, which there is, it will come to the forefront on its own. It came down to the three of us and, and, and the feeling that we had. I think when we went down after the, the, the intermission, just Phil said, gee, I really feel comfortable. And that's, that's, that was the word. We just really felt comfortable again. And who knew we would after all that time. Whether or not Phil, John, and Daniel decide to play together again, their fans would like to thank them for the great music they've given us both as glass harp and in their individual careers. Hats off to Glass Art for a great night of music. They're one of Ohio's all-time great bands. Uh, you can catch Daniel Pecchio and John Safera in the motion. They play all over town. They're a really fine band. And Phil Kagey, the man who Jimi Hendrix once called the best guitarist in the world, has a new album out called Sunday's Child. You might want to check that out. I got a little dizzy. Check this out. <laughs> what are you doing? I got a little dizzy practicing my twirl. Thank you for watching Cleveland Live Music. Don't worry, this cop that's approaching is not going to interrupt great uploads. He hopefully supports the channel as much as you folks who hit the subscribe button do. There's Patreon and GoFundMe information that I doubt he's going to do. But you can. But subscribe. Keep watching. That's all that counts.